What's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore? Um, the way hair products are marketed to different members of the family. Let's talk about it. I see so many different people that are constantly purchasing so many products based off of this one here is my product and this one here is a children's line and this one is a men's line for the husband or whatever the case may be. And honestly, there's not a huge difference. Your hair has no sex. Your hair does not know that it is a man, woman, child, whatever the case may be. Now, if your hair is dry, use something for moisture. If your hair is uh, weak and needs protein, then you want to use something for strength. If it's a mix of the two, you want to use something that's restorative. But your hair doesn't know if it's a child. It doesn't know if it's a man or a woman. That being said, if you find a child line that works really well for your hair, use it. It's fine. My one caveat to this is men's hair care lines because they're usually garbage and honestly, they are trash. It's basically soap and men's fragrance.